Good to be here, above the Dave. Good to be here. Mark, absolute pleasure to have you here. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Nice, nice studio here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it reminds me uh, of the studio where we recorded Planet Anthem. <laughs> I will try to forget you ever said that. Thank you for taking a break from your very busy schedule. I know that not only are you doing band stuff but and all that work, but you also are really big in in like the crypto world. Like what's going on with that? That's right. That's right. Yeah, we're we're all pretty big into it. We all like it a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm doing. I'm I'm mostly doing a lot of NFT stuff right now. NFTs. Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't I have no idea. Can you explain what NFTs are to me and anyone listening who doesn't understand it? Because you're posting a lot about it. And I think a lot of it's just for us just kind of going over our head. Like we don't understand any of it. Can you tell us what an NFT is? Okay, so do you remember Microsoft Paint back from back in the 90s? And Oh, yeah. I love that thing. I spent hours on Microsoft Paint. I know. It was the best, right? It was the bomb. It was the, so, so good. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, so basically, Microsoft Paint is back. It's back? It's back. It's back? Yeah, it's back. A lot of people are using it. I'm using it. I'm on it all day long. I'm just making these little drawings on Microsoft Paint. And then what I, what, it, what people are doing is then you put them up on OpenSeas and these other places in the crypto space. And, and then people just buy them up. They snatch them up. I'm not an artist, you know? Oh, come on. You're like one of the greatest artists I know. You're one of the most creative people. You write great songs. I mean, you know, but like like this, though, this is not really my thing. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get into it. I'm trying to make it my thing now. Yeah, no, it seems like it seems like people are really liking your stuff. You know, your artwork seems like it's 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 going like you're selling out of this stuff, right? Yeah, well, we have other people who do NFTs for us and they're selling fast and, and that's really cool. And then I do some stuff on the side on Microsoft Paint. You know, some people use... I think not everybody's using Microsoft Paint because some of these I'm seeing these other other NFTs and I'm like that is that's not Microsoft Paint you're cheating. Oh, okay. So not everyone's using Microsoft Paint. You think? Nah, I, I mean I can't I can't say for sure. Maybe they're just really good at it, or they've been you know maybe they never stopped. Maybe they've just been doing it for doing it for for decades, and so they're super good at it. That that might that might be it. Well, Mark, I mean, so I mean, you guys are all doing. You guys are all doing the crypto thing now. Is that is everybody on board with that? Not everybody. You know, Magda Magda teases us. He's not too into it. You know, he's he's more of a cash guy. You know, he's always throwing money around. You know, that's Magna. He's crazy. Magna's crazy. You got to have him on the pod. This is great. No, oh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have him on the pod. I'm excited to talk to him. Yeah, he's he's in that case. He's but yeah, he's not into the investing. He's he's more into blowing his money. But. Uh, Barbara's into it. Barbara likes crypto. You know, he's 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 working on some apps right now. We're we're actually uh, having some meetings right now uh, to make uh, the Disco Biscuits coin. We're gonna have a Disco Biscuits cryptocurrency. Holy shit! What is that? What does that even mean? Oh, it's it's gonna be amazing. You can use it. You'll be able to use it online. You'll be able to buy tickets with it, with the Bisco crypto. You're gonna be able to to use it in lot. You know, and buy stuff. Everybody's going to have it, and you can just exchange it through everybody's phone. You know, everything, all the transactions you do are going to be uh, on the Bisco coin. No more cash, you know, and we're just all going to convert over to that. Whoa, that is that is huge news. Is that Have you ever dropped this information before? No, I'm actually doing it for the first time here in this podcast. I don't even know if I should be doing this, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's... That's awesome. I, I'm truly honored that you're you're dropping that information. So what, what is the... What's the, what's the biscuit coin going to be called it's going to be called all coin all coin yeah all coin a u c o i n all coin oh like a low like alan's last name a quinn yeah yeah it's gonna be all coin like alan yeah, all coin oh that's cool i like that yeah it's, it's gonna be big we're gonna be dropping that so soon everybody all biscuit fans you know we're not saying telling you to to get into the crypto space but you know if uh you know once the coin drops yeah we're hoping that um uh, you know, a lot of people will, will accept that and then, you know, and we'll even accept payment, you know, and crypto. So that's going to be cool, too. Everybody, we're just going to hopefully just all move over uh, to doing that. That's cool, man. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. <coughs> you all right? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. But, you know, you know, I mean, I'm no Picasso, but, you know, I'm having fun and, uh, you know, I'm really into it. And it seems like the fans are really into it, too. 
that's kind of that's kind of how I felt about just starting this podcast. You know, it's like I don't have a I don't have a ton of experience with this stuff, but uh, you know, I feel like I just want to put myself out there and kind of offer something to the scene. ATD, you're like my NFTs. You're never gonna have value. <laughs> oh, and that is a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn that is harsh all right well let's switch things up mark let's switch things up okay all right so uh let's talk some biscuits and let's just uh let's talk about some other stuff you do like you write some songs all right you got some new stuff you've been putting out there yeah yeah i mean what what do, where do you get your inspiration for your songs honestly i mean mostly from reading my kids books in their beds at night Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I like nursery rhymes. Mother Goose is a big influence. Old Mother Hubbard. Little Boy Peep. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Mother Goose. Old Mother Hubbard. You're influenced by a lot of mothers, it looks like. (laughs) ATD. Your jokes. Well, they're kind of like my one eye. Lazy. And that's another brownie bomb. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did deserve that. That was pretty lame. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I mean, I got, you know, I got new songs, you know, but we've been playing a lot of miracles, doing miracles a lot. Yeah, yeah, you have. Well, you don't, you don't like miracles? Eh. What? Well, you know, everybody likes miracles. Yeah, you know, it's okay. Okay, okay. Personally, I'd love to see you play Camioli more, you know? What's up with that? Speaking of nursery rhymes. You know, Mark, I'm asking you these nice questions and you're just zinging me. You know? I could ask you questions that are zingers. Like, I could be like, oh, Mark, hey, why do you dress like you're 15 years old? Yeah, ATD, why do you have a podcast about me? Who listens to this? Seriously. I did a podcast one time. No one wants to listen to this shit. Okay? No one ever wants to hear me talk. They barely want to hear me sing. Okay? (laughs) That's true. Yep, I mean... You know, I did one podcast episode ever in my whole life. One podcast in your whole career? Yeah, one episode ever. It was Barber's podcast, Touchdowns All Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and he said it was it was awful. He said even he he didn't even listen to it. He said it was probably garbage though. Yeah, I mean, I listened to it. It was it was it was okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was it. I listen I like listening to Touchdowns All Day. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's fine, but like what I'm saying is above the day. No one no one cares about this shit, you know. I mean, I'm glad you had me on. It's my second time ever doing a podcast, you know. I mean, I've done some zooms. Me and Magner over 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 lockdown, we were we did a whole bunch of zooms together. Yeah, I mean that's that's not a podcast though. Now, I mean, it's close though. Yeah, not really. I mean, it's a zoom. Oh, they were the best though. They were so fun. Uh, Magna would just line up a whole bunch of blow <laughs> and then he would just be ripping blow off of his piano and then he would just go into a ton of different classic great rock songs and uh, we'd just be singing along I'd be I'd be, I'd be be having some drinks and, uh, and smoking a whole bunch of weed at, at my house and then he'd be over there playing piano just getting fucked up you know, we would just have sing-alongs. Yeah, and sometimes even Barbara would show up. You know, Alan would pop in. Sometimes we just have these Zooms. Just getting fucked up. Magnum is hilarious, dude. Oh, my God. That sounds amazing. I wish I could have been in that Zoom. Uh, but, that yeah, that's that's not that's not a podcast, though. Yeah, I know. Well, exactly, because no one gives a shit. Okay. Good luck with the podcast. Thanks. Anything else? One final question for you, Mark. Shoot. So you are... In this very successful jam band, and yet this whole time, you've also made it very clear, very public, that you are also a huge fan of Fish. And we can hear it in the music, of course, in some ways, you know, when we see the influence. But but you really, you know, you really love Fish. They're, they're, that's, you say that's your favorite band? That's my favorite band, 100% above the Dave. That That is it. They are they're my favorite band. I see them whenever I can. Whenever their schedule allows... Maybe we're in the same city or something. I'm I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see fish. They're they're incredible. Yeah, they're better now than they ever were too. That's what I'm. Th- that's what I'm saying. Wait. Wait. What's this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Um, ladies and gentlemen, fish is here. Holy shit. Uh, hey guys. I'm above the Dave. Welcome to the lot scene. This is my podcast. This is. 
you guys know you guys know Mark Brownstein? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I do, yeah, I do, I do, I do know, I do know Mark, Mark, I try, uh, I guess we'll just kind of quickly introduce everybody who's, uh, all my listeners who are, guys, yeah, just get up to the mic there, and if everybody could just say their name, we'll just kind of go through, we got the lead, the lead guitar player and singer, we got Trey Anastasio, it's so good to have us, it's so good to be here, <sighs> oh my god, <laughs> so good, it's so good to be here, uh, next we have the piano player, I can't believe I'm saying this, Paige McConnell, that's me. <laughs> That's me. Guilty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, who else do we have? Uh, we have Mike Gordon. Boom. 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 What's up? And last, but definitely not least, we have the drummer for Fish, Mr. John Fishman. All right, Fish. Wow, this is an honor. This is this is your favorite band, Brownie. I know this is ridiculous. I can't believe this is happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Fish, what brings you to the podcast? <laughs> it's a really funny story. It's, it's a really funny story. Um, okay. All right. So we were driving in the van, and uh, uh-huh. Fish, Fish was just being so ridiculous, and. Um, <sighs> And then he looks at me, right? He looks at everybody, and and we're like, I don't even know, we're on like the like the last leg of the tour, and, okay. And uh, we're like pulled over at this stop, and <laughs> <laughs> and and Paige looks Paige, Paige looks at me, and he says, um, "That's me." <laughs> and he says, "Whatever you do, take care of your shoes." <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Huh. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so we get out of the van, and then Fish is there. And it's a really funny story. And um, okay. And so Fish, you know, he's looking all over for his shoes, and he can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. And uh, and and then he gets all dirty. And he gets all dirty because we're like in the end, because we're, we're in the desert, and uh, and he got so dirty and dusty. And uh, you know, he wanted to come back and. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so we we set them back uh because the van we had like a little shower like a bucket you know because it was the old days and uh they were like fish you gotta take a shower and uh and he and then he but it but like it was taking forever and and you know uh mike goes out there and mike comes back you know and he goes you guys gotta see this <laughs> we all go out and he and he and he was sitting in the bucket oh, wow. and, and that's when he was and and we just look at each other you know and that's when we're just like <laughs> We love to take a bath. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Unbelievable. Even though you're happy that we're here, you do that. Oh, you do? All right, well, see you, fish. All right. Bye, fish. Bye. Bye, guys. Wow.